Hi, I'm James Patterson and welcome to this video tutorial. We're going to be taking a look at the two healing tools, the Spot Healing Brush Tool and the Healing Brush Tool. These are both used to tidy up images. They're great for removing sensor marks, acne, scratches, dust or any other small areas that need a quick fix. I'm going to be showing you how the tools behave on these two images. We have a portrait and a landscape. First, let's see how they can be used to quickly retouch a portrait. So let's start by opening up our Healing Portrait into Photoshop. OK, so before I make any image adjustments, I'm first going to duplicate my background layer simply by dragging it to the Create New Layer icon here in my Layers panel. This way I always have an untouched copy of my image underneath if I ever need to go back to it. Let's minimise my layers. Then I'm going to grab the Spot Healing Brush over here in the toolbar. So you can see if I hover over I have the Spot Healing Brush tool which is accessed also by using the shortcut J. If I click and hold I can also access the tools hidden behind such as the Healing Brush tool here. So let's start by using the Spot Healing Brush tool and a couple of shortcuts here. I'm using Command or Control and Plus or Minus to zoom in and out and holding space to move around and then resizing my brush tip using the bracket keys right for larger, left for smaller. So I can see there's a slight imperfection in the metal work here which I'm going to use my spot healing brush to remove simply by painting over it. And you can see the tool will do a very good job of looking at the area you've painted over, calculating which parts of it you want to fix and simply carrying out the work for you. You can see there's a few other marks here, I can just simply click on them and the tool will do the same kind of thing. Let's maybe make my brush size a bit smaller and work over these stray bits of hair around the edge here. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. So now let's take a look at the healing brush tool which is here in the toolbar next to the spot healing brush tool and I can see there's an area on the girl's shoulder here that would be perfect for this tool. It works in much the same way as the spot healing brush tool except you have to define a source for the tool by holding alt. So if I hold alt you can see my icon changes to a target and then I can define a source for the healing brush to work from. So then I'm simply clicking over this area here that I want to remove. And the tool's doing a good job of getting rid of that piece of bra that's showing through. You can see I have a kind of preview within my tooltip, which can be a bit distracting sometimes. I'm actually going to turn it off, which you can do by going up to the menu here to toggle the clone source panel on or off. Let's click on that and then you can simply uncheck show overlay. Then let's close that down and you can see now I don't have that preview which I find a bit distracting. So now if I zoom out let's take a quick look at how we're getting on. I'm just pressing command or control and zero to fit my image to my screen. Then let's go to my layers panel. I can toggle my top layer on or off and you can see how we've got rid of a few of the distracting elements in the image. And before I go any further I think it's probably a good idea to rename this layer. We call it the tidying layer. So now let's create another new layer. This time we'll just need an empty layer so let's click on the create new layer icon here in the layers panel. Let's rename this by double clicking on the words there. We'll call it retouching layer. And I'm going to use this layer to make some adjustments to the face here. So I'm going to grab my Spot Healing Brush tool again over here in the toolbar. And this time I'm going to check the option up here that says Sample All Layers. This will allow the tool to sample these layers underneath and still paint on the empty layer. So again, I'm going to paint over a few of these imperfections and soften these lines a little bit. So 
so you need to be careful with this tool that you don't go too far with it you can see how that's not worked at all so I'm going to press command or control alt and Z to undo that and then let's try again that's looking a little bit better let's start on this eye over here maybe remove some of these lines around here you may think that I'm going overboard with the retouching here getting rid of too much information but you'll see how we can bring some of that information back in the next step you can see how my tool will, will occasionally slip up but overall it's doing a fairly good job Okay, so I think that looks good. So now because I have all my retouching done on a separate layer, I can simply reduce the opacity of this layer to allow some of that original detail to show back through. So if I toggle my retouching layer on or off by clicking on the eye icon here, you can see how rather than just getting rid of all of those wrinkles and, and lines, I'm simply just softening them a little bit. Let's bring it up to about 50%. And I'm just going to toggle my two background layers off to give you an idea of the strokes that we made using the spot healing brush tool. So there they are all editable on their own layer. Let's bring the opacity back up again and bring it back down to about 50. Okay so there we have it. Let's zoom out. That's our finished portrait retouched in seconds using the power of the spot healing brush. So let's go back into bridge and open up my healing landscape. And now let's have a look at how we can use the healing brush tools to get rid of distracting elements in a landscape. Let's start again by duplicating the background layer, dragging it onto the new layer icon. Let's call this layer tidying layer. And then let's grab my spot healing brush tool and we'll minimize my panels over here so we have a larger view. Let's zoom in again. And I'm simply going to start painting over the telegraph poles and wires here. You can see how very quickly can get rid of these distracting elements in the landscape. Occasionally the tool will give you a bit of a blotchy result. Let's try painting over again and you can usually sort it out. That's done a fairly good job of removing that line. Let's carry on with this pole here. You can see I'm not being very precise here, but the tool will generally make up for my deficiencies as a uh, painter. Okay, and you can see that's taken me less than a minute to get rid of that entire line of poles and wires. Now let's move on to the car here. So I'm going to attempt to get rid of this whole car using the healing brush tools. So first of all I'm just going to try and paint over the whole object and see how the healing brush tool behaves. Let's just fill it in. I'm not expecting an amazing result, but we'll see what happens. Well, that's actually fairly surprising. You never know quite what you're going to get with the uh, healing brush tool, particularly when you have content aware checked up here in the options bar. But that's given me a good starting point on which to make a few more strokes. 
and tidy this up. Occasionally, when using the healing brush tools, you may need to switch back to the clone tool, which will give you more of a precise adjustment, but which takes quite a lot longer. So let's try and paint over this area here again and see what happens. So you could argue that's gone slightly worse. I'm going to undo it. Then let's grab my healing brush tool and I'm going to hold Alt and define a source of some kind of grassy area next to this patchy blotchy area that I want to remove. And we'll see how this tool behaves at get rid of getting rid of this kind of blotchy area here. So I'd say that's doing a fairly good job. It's no, by no means perfect. I'm just sourcing along this edge here, and that's kind of doing a decent job of creating a, a new edge along the road. Let's carry on and maybe go back to the spot healing brush tool, paint over a few more areas. You can see how it's taken me very little time to get rid of the car. With a little bit more fine tuning, this area would be virtually unnoticeable. Let's also draw along this kind of skid mark along the road here to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that if I zoom back out and then toggle my layers on or off. Let's bring my layers out over here so we can see the car a little bit better. And you can see how I've gotten rid of the car and the wires in a very short space of time. I'm also maybe going to remove this flare over here. So let's grab my spot healing brush tool again with content aware checked and I'm simply going to paint over that area and previously in Photoshop with the healing tool it kind of struggled with edge areas so an edge like a, along the line of this uh, mountain here but with content aware the uh, tool will do a better job of calculating and working out its own edge for you it's not always perfect, but it's usually a good starting point on which to maybe bring in other tools such as the, the clone tool. So let's zoom back out. And I'm going to finish off by grabbing my burn tool over here in the toolbar. Let's make the brush size a bit smaller and bring the exposure down to about 20. And simply paint in around the edges of my frame. If I paint over the area here where we remove the car, it will draw attention away from that area a little bit more. Burning the sky around here a little bit. So there we have it, my finished landscape with all of the unwanted elements removed and tidied up, creating something that's a lot more pleasing on the eye and a lot less distracting.